Hello, everybody. Perhaps the most anticipated item is the material editor. Before starting to work with it, I have to mention that all JoinerCAD materials are based on Autodesk material records. Therefore, before adding a new material to our editor, where all necessary attributes will be added, an asset has to be created in Autodesk database of materials and or appearances. Let us start from there. The Autodesk Material Editor is in the Modify section of the Solid Environment. The window on the left contains a list of libraries connected to Fusion 360. All of them, except the Assets Library, belong to Autodesk and are uneditable, as indicated by the lock symbol. The last library is the JoinerCAD library. At the top, you can see two columns, Physical and Appearance. This allows you to design either the material or its appearance. Each of the libraries may have categories intended for convenience of the user. In our case, the categories represent material types. There are many ways to create new entries. I will demonstrate the simplest one, copying the existing material and replacing the entries with the ones appropriate to me. Once the right material is found, I place it in the Favorites environment for editing. After renaming the material, I enable editing and change the description cells. By going to the Appearance tab, I can change the image to be placed on the material to represent its texture. When clicking on Image and then on Source, I indicate the image to be used. The window shows the way to the standard image base that comes with the installation. I, for example, choose the Pine image. After closing the open windows, I click Apply and save all changes. Finally, the newly created material has to be returned to Assets Library. By right-clicking, I select Add To and indicate the Assets Library category where I want to place the material. The material is created and placed in the library. Now we can remove the entry from Favorites. Now I will show you how to create a cover appearance in Fusion 360. The principle itself is very similar to that of material creation. We call the Manage Materials dialog again, go to the Appearances tab, and select a cover from the list to create a new one and add it to Favorites. The editing steps here are similar to those for the material creation. A new image is selected from the directory used before. Clicking Apply saves the changes and returns the material to the Assets Library. Accordingly, the material is removed from Favorites. Now that materials are created in the Autodesk Library, you can create entries in the JoinerCAD Library. Select the Material Editor from the drop-down menu. If you intend to use it often, you can add it to the list of main commands. 
the main settings window opens. This allows you to select the Autodesk libraries to include in the material creation. In this case, we have one library only. By clicking Setup, you can select the fields to be automatically bound with Joiner CAD materials. When the binding dialog is closed, the main window is displayed. Here you can see all material groups. Each group can be opened to show the material records. Selecting a specific material shows its General tab, Covers tab, Oversizes tab, automatically suggested edge bands, and custom properties. These can be output to the BOM, for example, manufacturer, price, and so on. Let us go back to the main window. I am opening Cover Appearances, the place of all the covers that can be added to the material. For example, LMDF material has multiple covers that are taken from the Cover Appearances list. Here I specify whether there is a texture direction and, if necessary, I can indicate that the cover does not have a picture. For example, in the case of a material without a specific color. For example, varnish. Clicking on the Create New Material, a dialog opens, where I can see all the materials that exist in the Autodesk Assets Library. From Physical, I choose the Pine material, which was developed earlier. By the principle of drag and drop, I put it in the Fill material type, that is, solid. I just need to fill in the necessary information about the filler material, and a new entry will be created. Calling up the Material Assignment dialog, we see a new entry for Pine. Now we can move on to a more complex model, the development of a material with a cover and edge band. The start of the creation process is similar to the previous material creation. You have to go to the Material Editor, where you create new material. In this case, the Appearance tab is selected instead of the previous Physical tab. You search for Lindbergh Oak material, and by using a drag-and-drop principle, you place it into the Cover Appearances section. This indicates that the cover has a texture direction and the name and code values are entered. In the Edge Band section, select the PVC material, go to the Covers tab, and click on the Add Covers button to add the newly created cover in the window that opens. We go to the LMDF material and then to the Covers tab to add a cover. We go to the Suggested Edge Bands tab where the earlier created edge band is attached. The edge bands added in this tab will be available when you select which edge band to automatically put around the entire perimeter of the panel when adding material to it. This can greatly speed up the design of details such as doors. 
When the material assignment dialog is launched, the laminated board type is selected and the newly created material can be seen in it. At the same time, the suggested edge band list shows the edge band entry. Finally, I will assign the newly developed materials to the real model, so you can see how it all works. I start the material assignment dialog, then I find the LMDF material with Lindbergh Oak cover and assign it to the panels. I hope you like it. Good luck.